Hola amigos, good evening, this is from the field, I'm Carlos Montero, I'm in front of Educational Stadium where they are playing right now, Spain against Morocco, they went to extra time, I'm going to tell you all the details in a little bit, but let's start like we always do with the headlines. South America are part of the eight best teams in the world. Brazil joins Argentina in qualifying to the quarterfinals. Ronaldo and Portugal look to bounce back from the loss to South Korea with a win over Switzerland to make it to the next round. Africa's fate in the World Cup will be determined today in the clash between Morocco and Spain. Regardless of what's happened tonight in the match between Spain and Morocco, the African team is having a great World Cup. It has a loss so far. It tied with Croatia. It beat uh, Canada. You hear maybe something is going on over there. But I tell you in a second. Can you hear that? Okay. But let me find out what's going on behind uh, me. But now let's go to see what's happened last night. It was a very exciting night too. And it was extra time. Japan went to extra time and then they did awful with the penalty time. Let's see what Charlie Montero has to tell us about that. It's a party in Copacabana. Brazil made it look easy against South Korea by beating them 4-1 in the round of 16. After the game against the Asian team, the Brazilian players paid tribute to Pelé with a poster of the image of the Brazilian legend. Paulo Bento steps down as South Korean coach after brutal loss to Brazil. After yesterday's matches, Asia has been officially knocked out of the tournament and only European and South American teams remain. Neymar broke his promise and didn't dedicate his goal to Bolsonaro. The Brazilian forward said in an interview that he is focused on winning the World Cup. After the victory, Lula took to Twitter to congratulate the players for the match. Stadium 974 will now be dismantled after hosting its final match of the FIFA World Cup. Qatar has yet to reveal exactly where the stadium parts will go post-tournament, though organizers suggest it could be used to build multiple smaller stadiums in the future. The game between Morocco is Spain is still tied, no goal. I was telling you before that Morocco is undefeated. It beat Belgium, it beat Canada, tied with Croatia. But now let's go with the five news of the day. You have to know about the World Cup Qatar 2022. Charlie Montero, go ahead. Brazilian fans paid tribute to Pelé at the 10-minute mark in the round of 16 game against South Korea. The large banner had an image of the legendary Brazilian player that said, Pelé, get well soon. FIFA has opened disciplinary proceedings against Uruguay after players angrily confronted the referee following their World Cup exit. The South American team beat Ghana 2-0 in their last match, but were angered that the referee did not award them penalty kicks in the game. Another goal would have sent Uruguay into the last 16 in the place of South Korea. Cristiano Ronaldo has received a formal proposal from the Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser that would pay him almost 200 million euros on a contract to 2025. The salary offered by Al Nasser is several times larger than the approximately 26 million he earned at United. Vinicius Jr. becomes the youngest Brazilian to score in a World Cup knockout stage match since Ronaldinho in 2002, 
after the South American victory over South Korea. Loud and Proud FIFA has ranked the five games with the best fan atmosphere based on how loud the matches were. And Uruguayan and Korean fans can be proud of having reached an astonishing 131 decibels at their match at Education City Stadium, a noise that is similar to that heard at a live rock concert. If you follow me on social media, Twitter, see Montero Oficial, you know that I think that Japanese fans, are they already got the championship. They are the best fans in this World Cup, cleaning the stadium. Last night, they lost in a heartbroken game, penalty kick. They missed three penalties. It was really sad to see the Japanese getting out of the World Cup in that way. But let's see the teams that are going now to the quarterfinals. Netherlands beat the United States 3-1, and they will face Argentina, which suffered to win 2-1 to Australia. On the other hand, France defeated 3-1 to Poland with a marvelous performance by Kylian Mbappé, who scored two goals and assists to the other. The current champions will face England, which also won for Sheffield against Senegal 3-0. On the other side of the brackets, Brazil rolled up to South Korea 4-1 with a wonderful performance by the whole team. They will face to the current runner-up, Croatia, which beat Japan in the penalty shootout after draw 1-1 in the regular and extra time. In the Brazil's match, the joy of the team and the form they played was fabulous. They also paid tribute to Pelé, the legend of the Brazilian football history who is in life care in the battle against cancer. Are you ready for the trivia of the day? The next match tonight is going to be Portugal against Switzerland. And the question today on social media is, when was the last time Portugal faced Switzerland in a World Cup? You have over there different, different options. We are going to give you the answer at the end of the show. Remember, you can follow us on social media at From the Field. You want to follow me, C. Montero Oficial. Also, you can follow Telesur English and Telesur TV. We'll be right back with much more information here in From the Field.